everyone. Here we are once again for some encouraging words together. I so appreciate how we're able to just, wherever we are, take a moment to stop and join our hearts, look at the Word of God, come to Him in prayer, and receive from Him the strength we need for each and every single day. It's good to join together. Thanks for tuning in for these encouraging words. Before I share the scripture, I want to uh, talk about my dog. Grayson is the name of our dog. This uh, this week, he'll actually turn, I have to think about it, three years old? Maybe four. Four years old, I think, this, um, this, uh, this, uh, this week. He was born in 2018, so that's right. And, uh, of course, he is the cutest dog in the entire world. And from the moment we got him and first brought him home, that dog loves to play fetch. He has uh, several now, little rubber balls that he'll bring and lay at our feet and we'll toss. And, of course, he'll bring it back and then not want to give it to us, give it to us, not want to, back and forth. Uh, But he'll chase that ball over and over and over again. It's like instinct kicks in. He can't help himself. It really is quite comical to watch. And he loves it, absolutely loves it. We see this devotion. No matter where that that ball goes, he'll chase it. No matter how many times we throw it, he is definitely after it and tail wagging the whole time. He loves to play fetch. That's uh, quite the inspirational moment to think about how that dog could love an activity so much that he'll do it over and over every single time. When it comes to things of the Spirit, In spiritual disciplines, the question is, do we pursue the Lord and the spiritual practices that are outlined in his word with the same level of devotion? And I don't ask that in order to induce a guilt trip on any of us. I ask it so that we might be reminded of the power that is found as we devote ourselves to the ways of the Lord. In Colossians chapter 4 and verse 2, we have a short little verse. The Apostle Paul tells the church, devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. Two key points that I want to zero in on uh, on this verse. Devote yourselves. The uh, underlying Greek words that are used in the original language there have to do with being continually steadfast, Um, just like my dog. We'll chase that ball every time. What do we do in times of trouble? What do we do in times of peace? Are we devoted to prayer? Are we continually steadfast in our prayers? It's meant to be how we live and how we connect with God in ever ongoing conversation with him. You know, when I get home at the end of the day, nobody has to tell me to talk to my wife. I will tell her about my day. I'll tell her about my hopes and joys. I'll tell her about my disappointments. We'll we'll talk about life. We'll have small talk. We will have uh, meaningful heart-to-heart talk as well. There isn't anything um, off limits, and we share our hearts together. And it's uh, after 32 years of marriage, it just comes natural. It's just what we do. It would be odd not to have that kind of conversation at this stage of our relationship. It's meant to be the same way in our walk with God, that we are just steadfast and continual in our prayers. But there's a second part to this verse that I want us to really see as well. Devote yourself to prayer being watchful and thankful. Watchful that we're alert to the needs around us. But it's interesting, he doesn't say watchful and worried, which is really how many of us live, right? We, we take a look at the world around us, whether they be needs in our own lives, uh, in our own lives or that of our neighbors and friends or situations in the country or around the globe, especially when they seem like more than we know how to bear or control. Out of that sense of worry, we often come to God in prayer. And on the one hand, there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, the scripture tells us to cast our cares on him because he cares for us. Where else can we go if we're worried or if we are in trouble? And yet this is not the focus of what Paul says to the Colossian church. He wants us to be alert, yes, watchful for needs around us. But he says being watchful and 
thankful. Thankful? Really? In every situation? I believe that's possible. How can it be so? Because the Lord is always good. Because the Lord is kind, compassionate, gracious, full of mercy and grace. And he is well able to meet us no matter what the area of need is. And he has this mystery of prayer. He doesn't need us, but he includes us. Many times I think the burdens on our heart are from his spirit who stirs us that we might pray. And through our prayers, God works powerfully. And so Paul tells the the reader, being watchful and thankful. Can we pray with a heart of thanksgiving? Giving him thanks for his goodness, his kindness, his compassion, being ever convinced of his love and mercy beyond how dark or difficult any given situation might seem? Oh, there's no better way to live. But, But coming to him in prayer, not out of fear and worry, but out of a sense of gratitude, knowing that our God is well able. He's well able today to meet you right where you are. And with that thought, let's come to him in prayer. Heavenly Father, we reach out to you in faith today. Not faith in the power of our prayer or our our words, but faith in your goodness, your kindness, your love, your mercy and grace. And as we see the needs in our own life and the needs of those around us, as we are watchful, Lord, as we hear news reports of things even happening overseas and and our hearts wonder and we think, Lord, how can such devastation be? One thing we know is that you still remain good, kind, and loving. And you're present in your power to make a difference. And you call us to be people of prayer. So, Lord, it is not only with watchful hearts that we come to you. It's with thankful hearts. We trust you. We thank you for your provision. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your strength, your might, and your wisdom. And we choose to yield, Lord, to your wisdom, even as we turn to you and we ask for your intervention and your help. Lord, be with every person listening today who's in need, whether it be for issues of health or sickness or strength or strength of heart and encouragement or a spiritual need. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that your love would surround each person and meet them right where they are. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your kindness. We put our faith in you today, and we show you gratitude and appreciation. Our hope is in you. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. It's always good to put your hope and your trust in the Lord. Thanks for joining us today. Here at Friendship Village, we're trying to show you these videos three times a day on Channel 900. They're brand new at 4.30. They're repeated at 8 o'clock at night, and then once again at 8 o'clock in the morning. Let somebody know if these videos are encouraging to you, then who do you know that might also use this sense of encouragement? Remind them that every day there's encouragement coming their way from the scripture. If you're watching online, consider who you might pass this link on to. And if you'd like to subscribe to these videos, you can do so by clicking on my face or hitting the box below to see any in our past history. God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We will see you next time.